be in that second half and, and how key was AD, especially the, down the stretch on the glass? Uh, yeah, AD had some uh, great great sequences of, of just uh, boarding and traffic. You know, I mean, we were, we were getting beat uh, pretty heavily on, on the glass and um, he really battled a big, strong dude in Nurkic that was hurting us and, and came down with some dirty rebounds to help uh, help secure the, the, the victory. You know, I thought our defensive disposition was better to start the game. Well, obviously, we had this the tough second quarter. Um, you know, we, we tried to just switch the matchup a little bit in terms of uh, eating some of Nurkic's minutes with Dwight to start the quarter and start the second half. Uh, I thought there was some defensive benefits there, but we obviously struggled to score, uh, which has been, you know, the story of our season uh, when we try to play big. But um, overall, I was proud of how, uh, how our guys competed and pulled out the W. Frank, Frank I know you've been effusive in your praise of Carmelo Anthony when we've talked to to you about him this year, but just tonight, uh, the shot making ability. Anthony was also talking to us about how much he talks. Um, I guess that aspect of his game. Um, how valuable is that? And his IQ. You know, um, he beat me to the punch because I was gonna I was gonna hit him on uh, on his performance tonight because it's you know like LeBron gets a lot of credit for what he's doing in year nineteen, and um, I don't think people are talking enough about what Carmelo's do, uh, doing in year nineteen. It really is remarkable. Um, he was terrific tonight, uh, like AD said. And, you know, obviously he was scoring the basketball, but you know we had some uh, some coverages we were trying to work out uh, down the stretch in the fourth. And defensively, he was right on top of all that stuff, communicating it. You know, just talking some of our guys through uh, where they need to be, and you know the IQ and the leadership and the desire. You know, the desire to to win. You know, and the competitive spirit was just great but uh, his shot making is uh you know it's fun to watch and um you know he's a big part of the win tonight and frank i have two questions for you they're unrelated if that's okay um ad first of all um, you know in your experience coaching in the last three years um obviously he's coming back from an injury but how, how much do you have you noticed when he has fourth quarters like he had today is, is sort of about him mentally kind of pushing himself to that place Oh, it's it was all mental tonight because he didn't have the legs. He had a couple couple possessions where I didn't know if he was going to get over over half court, and a couple of possessions where he was you know uh, late late to rotations like we saw down the stretch in Atlanta. And you know I'm, I'm worried about him. You know just just playing uh, playing all four quarters and having his his legs under him and they're not there yet. You know so tonight was definitely about mental toughness. You know and uh, in in the face of fatigue. You know, finding a way to find that energy, find that focus, and and make enough plays and make enough shots. You know, quite frankly, you know, legs, you know, to still make tough shots is uh is tough to do. So, uh, hell of a game by Anthony. And then, uh, you know, AD mentioned at the end of the third quarter being frustrated by, you know, you guys letting another buzzer beater go. And I know the the end of the second and third quarter were different situations, but how do you feel like the team is managing some of those? end of clock situations or end of quarter situations when you're trying to, you know, finish with your basket instead of theirs. Yeah, we've been pretty good at it. I mean, obviously the, you know, the second quarter was bizarre. Um, but the, uh, you know, they got a buck. I got to look at the tape and, and see exactly how they scored at the, at the buzzer in the third quarter, but we want to finish, finish uh, quarters out obviously better than we did tonight. Frank, <clears throat> Frank, um, I'll have two questions for you. Uh, firstly, um, Unforced errors have been a thing for this team kind of all season. Um, is that is that a focus thing? Like there was a, a free throw in the in the in the third quarter that I think Dwight and Russ both went to. Portland keeps the ball. Um, I think what were the turnover numbers tonight? Seventeen or something like that. Um, is, is that is that a focus thing, or is that or is this just going to be a group that has to play through those? those yeah, I mean, we need every possession we can get, so uh, we got to minimize those, those the best we can. And then secondly, this group hasn't always handled, um, just gotten out the hot starts before them. And then, you know, Portland has a, a big quarter and then it, I don't know if it's been discouraging or something like that. The, the team hasn't fought through those moments always this year. Uh, what do you think enabled this group to kind of weather that uh, tonight? And, and how quickly did you kind of notice that this is going to be okay on, on that side of the ball? Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I think starting the way we did in the, in the, in the, in the second half, uh, stabilize our defense. We give it 37 points in the in the uh, second quarter, you know. So, 
uh, we wanted to make sure that we had, uh, you know, the person out there, personnel out there to get some stops, you know, and I think that even though the third quarter was imperfect, um, we were getting stops, you know, throughout the quarter. And, and you know, when we get stops, we have confidence that we're going to catch a rhythm offensively. Uh, they try to junk the game up, you know, with uh, with their coverages on the defensive side. So um, our guys had to play through some randomness, you know, more randomness than we would normally see. But, you know, I do credit them for, you know, fighting through, um, you know, that run in the second quarter. Frank, uh, you mentioned the last couple of days about how you guys were, the point of emphasis was defensive improvement from the road trip and, and some of the mistakes you guys had made. Uh, wh where did you see that tonight in terms of just your execution and kind of what what was implemented that you guys had talked about the last couple of days? Yeah, I mean, I think the numbers will look good, but I, to me, there's still a lot of areas we can be better and we need to be better. Um, but there was a, there's always some carryover. Every time we touch the court, uh, for some practice time, there's always some carryover uh, into the game, and we saw that tonight. I'll try over here. Uh, the Blazers seemed like dedicated to if they turned the ball over, they weren't going to let you score off of that. I think you only had one point off of their turnovers. Is there a way to turn against that against them? Is there is there is there a disadvantage to that to what they were doing? Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know how many other more live ball. I'd have to look at the tape, but you know, obviously, if uh, you know, if they turn the basketball over, we want to run and make them pay for it.